Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna be doing a quick demo of Air Display for iPad. It works with iPhone too, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and show you guys how to do it. All right, first of all, you're gonna want to have your iPad on and your MacBook. You want to go to Air Display's website, Avatron, um, Avatron Software Inc., and you're gonna want to download their driver. You're gonna want to turn it on. Mine's on. You're gonna want to go to your app, Air Display. Open it up, and it's gonna tell you what to do once you buy the app. I'm gonna open up Air Display. Cruise, Cruise's iPad's gonna show up, and simple as that. Should connect it. There we go. You can have your own little wallpaper that's separate. See, the mouses go from one to another. I can drag this picture over here. It's really cool. I use this a lot. I use it for like IMs. I can keep my uh, IM windows over there. I can do whatever I want. Um, I'll show you guys. I'll open up iTunes real quick. Here, let me drag this back over. Uh, if I make this real small, I can drag that. Ooh. iTunes does not like me. There we go. Drag iTunes over here. I can have my Skype window, my iChat window and my Twitter feed all over here. And what else I like it for is when you're in Photoshop, you can actually touch the screen for like, pick your palettes and stuff. I can go to iTunes, push play, all that stuff. So it's actually pretty cool. And um, if I, you go into your settings, let's go into uh, system preferences. You go into like your desktop and screensaver both is going to pop up and you can pick any screensaver you want and it's going to be separate for both of them. Also, go to your go to your displays. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of people, a lot of people get confused because this is how it comes automatically. You can come to your arrangement and drag around where you have your display. So mine's about right there. It's going to readjust. Still works, still works. And I'm going to exit out of there. Um, other than that, you guys, it works really good. I encourage you to get this app. It's about it's $9.99 in the App Store. And that's it for today. Be sure to co comment, subscribe, and give a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, go ahead and sound off in the comments, and I'd be happy to answer them. That's it for it. That's it all for today, guys.